dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i welcome you once again to another session of our news thank you for coming out thank you for being there thank you for what you do thank you for supporting us thank you for liking our videos thank you for liking our contents thank you for trusting us to bring you interesting news as they come i'd like to quickly crave your indulgence please to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories please also kindly share these new stories with friends family relations and loved ones around the world share with them anytime so that they also can be aware of what is happening thank you so much guys i appreciate you tension mounts as northern youths plan regional protests the recent wave of protests by the northern youths have come not as a surprise to nigerians following the spate of killings currently plaguing the region the first wave of protest occurred in President Muhammadu Buhari's state, Katsina, where youths, numbering their hundreds, shut down major roads in a move many have seen as defiant, burnt down billboards with the images of the president and the state governor. The mass protest was sparked off by the killing, which occurred that morning and the previous day where over 50 lost their lives to bandits. Earlier this week, another protest took place, this time championed by Astura Ash Ashir Sharif, Chairman Board of Trustees of the Coalition of the Northern Groups, CNG. He was promptly arrested and moved to Abuja shortly after the peaceful protest, which demanded action from government. Over the rising spate of killings and kidnappings by bandits in the region. Sources, oh sorry, scores of individuals have been killed by bandits across most parts of Katsina in recent weeks, rendering hundreds of families homeless and resorting to begging for food and water for survival. This is so unfortunate. Recall earlier this week. Governor of the state, Aminu Masari, apologized to the people of Katsina for failing to protect them against bandits that have made their lives a living hell. They also demanded action from the government of President Muhammad Buhari. After much protest from well-meaning Nigerians and a group of northern elders, the leader of the protest, Sharif, was released from custody. After that protest, the coalition has also marked Yobi as their next port of call. However, a statement by the Yobe State Command of the Nigerian Police Force has warned the youths not to embark on a planned protest in the state. Speaking, ASP Dongus Abdul Karim, the command's public relations officer in a statement sent to Daily Post, warned against embarking in on such protest and also announced that the planned protest is illegal and will be and will not be permitted to take place in the state information at the disposal of Yobe state police command indicates that the coalition of northern youth will stage a protest due to hold on 20th june 2020 in all the northern states of the country. In this regard, this is to inform the general police, sorry, the general public, I beg your pardon, that the protest is illegal and will not be permitted to take place in Yobe State. Speaking, the Northern Elders Forum, in a statement on Friday, which was signed by its director, Publicity and Advocacy, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, and monitored by the Sun newspaper, vowed to make sure the protests reached the 19 northern states in no distant time, as this was the only this was the only way they could get the president to act. He also noted the significant changes from the presidency due to the matches. After the protest in Katsina, President Muhammad Buhari had appealed to the citizens to be patient 
at the government. As the government was making significant plans to clear the state of bandits. President Buhari had also sent a high power delegation to some affected states in the northwest to meet with governors and to convey his concerns and plans to take more decisive action against banditry, rustlers, kidnappers, and rapists who have made lives of people virtually valueless. The president met with service chiefs just a few days ago and expressed his disappointment at their performance of annihilating the bandits. He directed them to be more proactive and do a better job of protecting their communities. With these promises from the president, Dr. Ahmed noted that all these are evidence that the administration is taking note of the growing outreach from many quarters. With the Yobe police command denouncing the protest and giving strict warnings to abandon the planned protest, one wonders what the next plan of the CNG will be as banditry and killings still hold sway in the region and the youth are not going to be held down much longer. Well, it is really, really sad and unfortunate that this is the situation of things. You know, a lot of people have continued to cry out. A lot of people have continued to speak out. A lot of elites have continued to draw the attention of Mr. President to all these uh, ills. But it seems as if the president is bent on not uh, uh, listening to the people. Instead, he probably wants to listen to his advisors. But one would imagine that one of the traits of a good leader is actually listening to his people. When you are leading people, you need to listen to them. You need to turn your back and listen to them and feel their pain. Understand what they're saying. Take suggestions from them and also act on it. That doesn't make you weak and it doesn't make you um, unreasonable, but rather it makes you much more a better leader because the people trust and believe in you. A lot of people have called for the sack of the service chiefs, but the president has refused blatantly to sack them. If a particular idea is not working, you ditch it for another one. But so far, this man, the president, Muhammad Buhari, has refused to listen and has refused to heed advices. It is sad and unfortunate. How long will he continue like this? How long will the people continue to actually... Uh, how long will they continue to actually experience these particular issues of uh, killing? How long will they continue to go through the spates of killing, incisions, uh, breathing, and all what have you, you know, being chased out of their communities, banditry, activities, you know, for how long? As well, how long will the president continue to send emissaries, send people to go and console or condole with... Uh, the state governments and all what have you that is not what we need that is not what is needed at this particular point in time one would uh, expect that the president would understand that what is needed is actually action to put an end to this insecurity he came on board as a president on the platform or after campaigning that he was going to put an end to insecurity then it was even only the bh guys that were actually you know uh troubling the north as a then but now He's now dealing with not just the BH, he's dealing with bandits, he's dealing with Fulani headsmen and what have you. Both the ISIS or ISWAP or whatever they are called, these are all, you know, they are all ravaging the north. So one would wonder, as a northerner, why are these issues still recurring in the north? What is he not doing well? What is he supposed to do that he's not doing? I don't know, but from the look of things, the man does not seem to have the solution to the problem of the country anymore. What is about to hit Nigeria might just might just might just turn things around or might just change things, you know, from where they, the, the way they are. I stand to be corrected, guys. These are my views and my thoughts on what is going on. Kindly drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel please and also don't forget to share this new story with friends family relations you know can you drop out the comment section let us know what your thoughts are i appreciate you guys thank you so much don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you i appreciate you and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now